I'm gonna show you today how to wire up a Rude 18 Sear UA system, the communicating wires. So right here, just four wires, we're gonna use green, white, red, and blue. You wire up E1 and E2 and R and C. So we're gonna use R just like normal, which is red. We're gonna use C just as normal, which is blue. And then we're gonna choose two wires. It can be any two wires, but in this case I used green for E1 and white for E2. You can see through the wires there. So green goes in E1, white goes in E2. Red to red and common to common. I will show you how to wire up the Econet controller and you will wire up the air handler the same way as this. Uh, E1 will be green, E2 will be white, red will be R, and blue will be common. All right, we are in at the Econet controller, and I have it wired the same as the condenser and the air handler. We are using green for E1, white for E2, common is blue, red is red. We will mount this to the wall and install the thermostat, and that is how you're gonna wire up the Econet thermostat. All right, so we are in here at the Econet controller. We just got it started. So we're gonna go into the installer settings. Um, and to get there, you're gonna hit the bottom left. You're gonna hit settings. And you're gonna hold this here for five seconds. And it's gonna pop open, pop up here. We're gonna click on air handler. Um, this is just the general settings. We did wire in the um, condensate input, which is our float switch and it says it's normally open. We're gonna change that to float switch here. And we're also gonna change it to normally closed circuit. Let's see, the, there's an alert going off here. It says float switch tripped and air handler one. We're gonna clear alarms. Let's go back into the installer settings. Gonna check the AC or the heat pump. It says we are using an Econet thermostat. The variable speed RPM clamp is set to 7,000. I am not gonna change that. Um, and then other than that, if you click down here twice on the right side of the screen, it does take you to the next page. It tells you the capacity clamp total, which is four tons. You can actually change that we do have a four ton air handler and a four ton condenser, but if you only wanted this to output at a uh, two ton, you could change that to down to two ton or whatever you wanted. But we are gonna leave it at a four ton. We're gonna go back. Um, we're not gonna adjust anything else here. Let's just check the thermostats. Um, other than that, there's nothing really. You can set a cool set point and a heat set point. We can do a mode lockout. Uh, I'm not interested in any of that. Uh, let's just see if there's any defaults. Uh, nope, that's how you factory reset. So we're gonna exit out of this. We're gonna set the time. The time is, I'll just set a generic time. Accept that. All right, so we're going to turn this thing to cool. Uh, what we're going to do is hit the bottom right button. It's currently in heat, which that's how they always come when you turn them on. Now it is in cool. Set point is set to 84 at the bottom here. We're going to turn this down to make it run. And actually, we do need to turn this in test mode. So I will show you how to do that. All right, so to put this thing in test mode, we're gonna hit the bottom left button again. We're gonna click service. And then this ODU outdoor unit checkout. We're gonna, it's currently set to off. What we're gonna do is turn it to cool charge, which is gonna put it in a charge mode. 
and is gonna make this thing run at maximum efficiency, maximum speed, and we are gonna hit start test. The system will turn on and start running and we are gonna let it run like this for probably the next 30 minutes or so so we can get an accurate charge and so forth. System's up and running, baby. She's quiet as a mouse.